Hello guys, you are most welcome. As you know, uh, we have uh, done 17 videos and in 17 videos of history of English literature, we have completed is before Chaucer and Chaucer's is and now we, we will be talking about the 15th century. If you have not subscribed channel, you can uh, subscribe the channel and don't forget to share the video if you like the video. Now this period was from the death of Chaucer to Renaissance and uh, this was you know period of 100 years and this period is called the age of barrenness literary barrenness ab kai bar hame samajh nahi aata ki why we call it barren period uh, just because there was no fresh work as you can see uh, lots of works uh, were written and uh, you know composed before uh, before the, this age but in these hundred years, we didn't, we don't find any fresh work. We don't find any original originality. But there were some. A few poets were there. A few writers were there. What they did, they just imitated Chaucer. They imitated uh, Chaucer. They transcribed the works, but it was badly transcribed. Okay, they translated. They badly translated. They lack poetic genius now we can uh, you know discuss these things under these headings like uh, deficiency of poetic understanding no free movement of thought and poor state of education political changes and uh, with this you can uh, just bring this you know under the topic cultural studies as well you can understand uh, the culture and uh, whenever we talk about an ace we must understand that the is is uh, has its effects on uh, you know uh, writers whatever political conditions are there whatever education condi educational condition is there it impacts the writer it impacts the poet dramatist how they write and uh, let's talk about uh, under these topics like deficiency of poetic understand they could not understand chaucer who Whoever were followers, Chaucer's followers, they could not understand uh, Chaucer well. Unhone Chaucer ko achche se nahi samaj paaye. Okay, there was you know in inflections and uh, inflections of uh, you know e sound at the last of uh, Chaucer's writing, and Chaucer's lines badly read and transcribed and later badly printed. So it had great impact on writings. That's why we don't get any uh, important work or in in that period no free movement of thought now as you can see like uh, chaucer was free to write down yeah anything okay what he was thinking at that time about is wycliffe was you know had freedom to write but after that they did not have uh, freedom there was you know who were in power and authority they just uh, stopped them or you can say the persecution was employed to stamp out all efforts towards reform if there is who were in uh, who were in power they did not uh, you know they were against reform that's why and literature also always require a free atmosphere to uh, for development okay next is poor state of education at the time if there were some uh, universities they were not for education actually they were not uh, you know centers for intellectual activities then what was happening there there was controversies were going on okay the dry abstractions on medieval philosophy so lack of education also hindered the development of uh, poetry and prose at that time the third fifth one is political changes uh, you know there were 30 years struggle from 1455 to 86 and we we all know if there there are wars it hampers the development of uh, you know genius and poets and writers okay for power we know the 30 years war or uh, this is also called 100 years war okay they have between houses of york and langston knows they sorry it was known as the war of roses sorry okay we know and i have uh, made a separate video on war of roses you can uh, check out that video on my channel if you want to know about this in the war of roses the energy of england was violently destroyed 
and uh, the energy of england was uh, you know destroyed because of these wars and as you can see uh, see if wars are going on the negative negative impact is on writers too okay we cannot uh, write well we don't find freedom to write down things the frightful reign of richard iii uh, followed it marked the end of civil wars and feudalism it was marked by a new growth of english national sentiments under the popular tudors after this in the long reign reign of henry viii many purposeful and significant changes took place so now you can see we are going uh, towards the renaissance for the first time england was freed from all ecclesiastical bondage in parliament famous act of supremacy okay and uh, here is a comment as you can go through this can pause video this is important quote for uh, you know understanding this era tudor dynasty helped literature to develop now and the important the this period was barren but the most important uh, event happened in this period and that was the printing press was established in 1476 important question for competitive exam was a historical event of that time okay and uh, this the greek ideas and greek culture gradually became popular there men's spiritual spiritual freedom was proclaimed in reformation so reformation started schools and universities were established in place of monasteries with the growth of commerce men traveled about more so because commerce so now you can see that we are going through the reformation we are going through the renaissance now uh, going to the sorry not going through but we are going to and uh, great explorers discovered new trade routes so renaissance was at hand so now we are entering to this topic renaissance and this is important what the 15th century contributed to prose drama and ballad literature is enough to show that it can justly be called seed time in english literature so what is called seed time this 15th century what is called barren period this 15th century so hopefully you understood why we call this period barren and you have little a little facts in your mind now thank you for watching bye bye take care you can write down in comment box your suggestions don't forget to share and like the video